Welcome to Ukenic. In this video, we're going to show you how to uh, replace the serpentine belt on a Mercedes. Uh, this is a very common procedure for uh, Mercedes uh, V6, V8, and V12 engines. A lot of times, you might have less space here, uh, so it'll be a little bit more difficult, but it's still done the same way. Uh, what you'll need is a 17 millimeter socket, and a deep socket will be better but, um, and give you a little bit of room. But if, if your radiator is right here, right next to the engine, then you're going to need a shallow one. Uh, the other thing to point out, even though most of um, Mercedes have these 7mm, it's part of the tensioner, but uh, it, and it uses a socket, but it's not a bolt or anything. Um, but anyway, they have that there. Uh, you might see some older models where you might have a stud here, and you'll use that. It comes out, you can put a socket there to lift this up and take off the belt. Um, again, you could potentially do it by putting a, a Torx, on this case as well, a Torx bit there. Uh, it looks like a T25, um, but the problem is that this does require a little bit, quite a bit of force, so if you use that, you might just strip that. Or the other thing that could happen is this, this bolt will just probably just get loose. So, the right way to do it, 17mm socket right there. And then we're going to go counterclockwise, so this is going to come off and then slide the belt off and then uh, it's important to take a picture just to see how this belt is routed um, because what happens a lot of times you take this off and then you go to put it back on and then you're like oh how does that belt route or simply just uh, draw a quick schematic on a, on a piece of paper uh, one other thing to note out there is a hole right here so you could use a allen wrench uh, to just insert right there once you lift this up you can insert an allen wrench right there to keep the tensioner in the up position. Um, it's not necessary, it just makes it a little bit easier when you install it, but um, you can just take off the belt and let the tensioner go back down. So we're gonna put the wrench and it does help using a longer wrench, or you might just use a cheaper pipe, like a pipe, uh, an extension here. But, so you push that down really hard, and then you take the belt, and then you lower the tensioner, and by letting the wrench come up slowly it didn't come out completely but we're not going to lock this tensioner in the up position we're just going to let it go down and that is fine and then you'll just remove this one thing to point out is that if you were installing your one you might notice that um, it's not going in like even though when you move this up and you try to push it in and it just doesn't reach it's because this belt you might just sit on Pulley, for example, it might not just sit properly, it might just be off a little bit, like so. And so, what that does, it just gives it less room here. So, make sure to check if you can slide it over when you lift up the tensioner, um, then you probably have the belt off in one of the pulleys. Okay, this comes off, and then you install the new one just in reverse order. Reroute it, come back here, lift that, lift that tensioner and slide that over and that's it. Thanks for watching.